Okay, so um, I got a bunch of I Dig Monster fluff in a toy trade, and this is the fluff that comes in the I Dig Monster Sunday cones. And each of them come with one of these like balls. I already undid a bunch of balls here, but I'll show you what each of them look like. This is the pineapple one. And this one is the strawberry one. And this one's so cute, it's the candy one. And so each one comes with one. This is the marshmallow one. And the fluff is white and you're supposed to dye it with one of these popping balls of color. That's blueberry. This one's banana. And this one's just a cube. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, um, but they're scented. And I would say right now the scent wafting up at me from so many balls in the fluff is like a delightful Robitussin type scent. I'm not being sarcastic. I do like the scent of Robitussin. So let me get grab some pieces that aren't touching the dye. So normally it's just like a fluffy cloud slime that does not stick to your hands, but it is absolutely going to stick to your hands once you get it um, more liquid with this uh, popping stuff. So, all right. So, and then if you squish it like really, really tight together, it does compress and it ruins the texture of the slime, but you can reconstitute it with some more liquid or you can dye them with these balls. So we're about to get really, really messy. It's absolutely gonna dye your hands and stuff. But you can see here, I'll just show you on this one. You can see, I hope it pops downwards. If you pop it, oh, it pops that way, which is so terrible, like a big egg yolk. If you pop it, then it's like everywhere. So we're just gonna start popping these. Oh, this is the best. Okay, let me get some of that dye here. All right, so we're just gonna pop and you can feel them popping everywhere. It's amazing. Yeah, so you can see it immediately makes it really, really sticky and stick to your hands. Almost like the first time you add like a liquid to flour and you have to knead it a lot until it becomes less sticky. This is so amazing. Just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I put a lot of balls in here. I wanna say I put like 15 balls in here. And it is, I mean, it is a lot of slime also. And it is not um, dyeing it to a, any sort of consistent color. Is this a ball? Cool. Um, and it, it still does smell like Robitussin, like delightful Robitussin. I still think Robitussin smells really, really good. Maybe it just brings back childhood memories for me. Um, childhood memories of being sick. I don't know, as a parent, now that I have a child, I'm so anxious and worried for my child when she's ill, but I remember being just like really happy to be sick when I was a kid. I remember, I mean, I remember feeling bad, but I remember like being spoiled and staying at home and being loved and cared for. And those are all things that made me really, really happy. Like I look back on the the things that, you know, like you, you get to stay up an extra hour to watch TV and your parent sits right next to you. And those are all things that like, I have really fond memories of being, ill. I just really like the sick days that I got to spend time, but I also have siblings, you know, and like that's probably the only one-on-one -on -one time I get with my parents is when my siblings are at school and I'm home ill. This is getting to be so amazing. Um, so yeah, I have like a lot of happy, happy memories of being sick, whereas um, now that I'm a parent and my child is sick, I, I just feel nothing but anxiety for like getting my child better. And I don't know if my child's going, my child's an only child, so I don't know if she'll have the same associations with being ill that I do because, you know, she's an only child. And a lot of, a lot of what I loved about being sick was the one-on-one -on -one time I had with my parents instead of sharing my parents with my sister. Okay, so now this is a pretty consistent texture and color. I also, I'm trying to find like the little pieces of the balls because they don't, they do not dissolve into the, like the skin of the balls do not dissolve into the slime. And I put quite in a few. So I do want to let you know that like once it dries, here, here's a piece. Once it dries, like, 
these little pieces um, will stay like the skin in the slime. You have to pick them out if you want to keep the slime because it does not, it doesn't just dissolve cleanly. I should have put more blue, although this is a really pretty color. So once you get it to kind of like a reasonable texture, then you can really work with it however you want. It still stays together like a fluff. Like it's really good for like ice cream or it's kind of, it's a little wetter than kinetic sand, but it is a really fun texture to play with. So yeah, I'm just very into this. I just love it a lot. I'm really glad I have it. I'm lucky to have friends who um, open these things for the toys and they don't always like to play with the slime. And so they send the slime my way which is because I just really, this is so soothing and wonderful for me. And I just really, really like it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. This is the consistency and the color of what you would get if you did play with it. Obviously this is really large scale. If you bought the iDig monster, it would be so much less than this. Like this is easily like 10, 10 monsters cones worth of the slime. But if you do it consistently and clean. It's like, see, nothing's really sticking to my hand now. And so people are really grossed out in the beginning because it sticks to their hand in like a weird way like that. But if you just keep playing with it a little bit more until it's a little drier, then it's a clean slime again. So stick with it because it really is one of the best slimes that I've played with. And I play with a lot of slimes. So this one's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, thanks for watching, everybody.